What is up, guys? This is Michael Sean from Unison Games coming at you with a new video. This is, I actually think this is our first top 10 list, and I am excited because this is our second Team Metroflex video. So I am joined by the other member of Team Metroflex, Winter. You may remember him from our set review, um, but uh, uh, I'm super excited. Um, Winter, are you ready to go? Oh, I'm ready to go. I was born ready for this video. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a really good time. So uh, let's um, let's go ahead and just like jump right in. Um, so the first thing we've got is an honorable mention, and our honorable mention is Master Ball, the A spec printing of it that says search your deck for a Pokemon and put it into your hand. This card came out in Plasma Blast, and um, the the reason why we wanted to honorable mention it is because the effect itself is amazing. But nobody played it because computer search was so much better. So, Winter, do you have anything to add to that? I love the art. I mean, I like I like A, a specs in general just because it was like when they came out, they were just so new and they were shiny and like you had to have them. I mean, it's it's great. It's 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 Pokeball with the upside. Um, the ability is awesome, but unfortunately, it's just be, having having that limit be one and not being able to play another A spec. It just doesn't see play, but it's really cool. Yeah, I totally agree. Definitely deserves to be the honorable mention. It's in, like, no decks. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, I guess if you can't afford computer search or dowsing machine, you could play it if you want. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our set proper. So in at number 10, we have Friend Ball. So this card um, first came out in Sky Ridge, and recently it got printed in Celestial Storm. It says, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon and search for a Pokemon of the same type and add that Pokemon to your hand. Winter, I know you're super excited about this one. Now I'm going to throw it to you. I love this card. I love this card. So, I mean... <laughs> It's not. It's 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 definitely definitely worthy of being on the list. So it's here. Um, this card was really sweet because it was um, uh, when Celestial Storm came out. We had a lot of very like dominant decks, but they all played. They all had one thing in common. And that was that was Tapu Lele. Yeah. Um, card's amazing. Um, but this could really fit in really well in that format because if you play Lele or you play predominantly Psychics like Malamar was was a, a deck sort of not when the format came out but sort of down the road a, a little bit if you were malamar this you definitely play this card and that's why it's so good like this really is meta dependent and i feel like with this in standard right now being able to search your deck for jirachi a dedene even a zacian now is just yeah. really strong and honestly i'm surprised we don't see more of yeah, I think if you're metal this is kind of like how you were saying with malamar um if you're playing a metal deck this this is definitely at least maybe a consideration for your deck, just because almost every deck plays Jirachi. So a card that just says search out any of your Pokemon that are in your deck functionally for your deck is is pretty good. So, um, yeah, yeah, I like it. Sweet. So moving on to number nine, we have a uh, team and type specific balls. And the reason this is kind of cheating because it's adding like a bunch of a bunch of different ball cards into the same thing. But I really think that. Any any card that says you can search for any type of Pokemon as long as it's grass or as long as it's Team Plasma or as long as it's water, I feel like is like a great card, but it's only a great card for that archetype. So um, I would like in my head, I kind of want this card higher, but I, it just only sees play for the certain archetypes. But I mean, we had a Team Plasma deck that one uh, that uh, did were super well at Worlds when Team Plasma was a thing. We had one that was for Team Magma that did super well at Worlds that was a thing. You know, right now Expanded has been um, uh, seeing a lot of Eggrow, which part of why Eggrow is good is because of Netball. And So I, I definitely think they deserve to be on the list. Winter, do you have anything to add for those? Yeah, I mean, I... I... <laughs> As a big fan of Lost March, Netball is one of my primary tutors. Like being able for me to be able to search for like a Hopip or a Skip Loom, and also being able to search for one of my six Grass Energies. I mean, it's really insane. I think Netball is great, and and these balls in general, um, just because there's a lot of versatility to it. Uh, obviously, Team Plasma Ball was phenomenal with Flareon. Uh, or Team Plasma's Flareon, um, and uh, Team Magma Ball and Team Aqua Ball are just like, 
whether you get heads or tails, you win. So like, yeah. they're just, they're super good, but, but they're very specific and you really, you can't, you can't just squeeze them in any deck. They have to be in that archetype. So um, they're strong, but they're, they definitely, they're definitely limited to a very specific deck. Yeah, I totally agree. And like with uh, Team Aqua Ball, for instance, the, the, the partner to Team Magma Ball, there weren't really any like huge, great Team Aqua Pokemon. So Team Aqua Ball really didn't see as much play. Whereas Team Magma Ball was a lot more dominant because the Team Magma Pokemon were better. And I think that's why Netball doesn't really see that much play right now because we don't have a lot of really good grass Pokemon. So Netball sees less play. So, you know, it is kind of dependent on that. So that's why we slotted him at number nine. But go ahead and moving on to number eight, we have Pokeball. Uh, so this is the original ball card, of course. It was printed back in Jungle. It says, flip a coin. If heads, you search for any type of Pokemon. Winter, I know you're a huge fan of this. Why don't you uh, lead our discussion on it? In my original draft of our top ten, this was number one. <laughs> like, this card is is really insane. I love that it's coming back in Rebel Clash, or technically it's... You know, the set is technically you can get pre-release kits, so, like, people have Rebel Clash Pokeballs. Um, they're really good. Uh, the funny thing is, is, like, even way back in the day, even on my Pokemon trading card game, Game Boy game, I played Haymaker, I because you could... It was, like, one of two, like, meta decks of the time, and I didn't, I didn't play Pokeball. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even play it. I love the card, and I think it has awesome upside, and it's absolutely deserving of being on this list, but you do have the downside, which is why I believe Computer Search was just a way better uh, search card because not only could you... I mean, it was just a better Ultra Ball. So, like, that was in the format, and when this came out in Jungle, it was just kind of irrelevant at the time. But I love it, but the downside. Yeah, I totally know? agree with you. I think, it, <laughs> I think it needs to be on this list for sure, if, not for, if, if for nothing else than just that it is the original Ball card. But I think um, the problem with Pokeball is there's there's always a ball card or a similar searching card that's better than it in the format. So it never sees play. Um, right. But I do like it. I do. I don't, I don't think the coin flip is that like, Oh my gosh, this is horrible. A horrible card. Never play it. Cause of the flip card flip a coin uh, aspect of it, but there's just always a better ball. And so I feel like you just don't play it. So. Right. Like even it's just, it's just outclassed by, by just like this it, it, it unfortunately it wasn't printed in base set i mean computer search was in base set as well but like i feel like you know i feel like computer search was just too overwhelming for it but that being said i yeah. will play this in standard for sure once once it like is actually legal <laughs> do it up yeah. so uh going to number seven then we have cherish ball cherish ball just says search for a pokemon gx and add it to your hand this is from unified minds and uh, this, you know, this is kind of similar to those team and type specific balls that we talked about at uh, the number nine slot. Um, but the the thing that makes this card different for me anyway, is that like 90% of decks were playing GX Pokemon when this thing came out. Um, whereas for the type specific cards, you had to commit to an archetype to play that. Really, like every definitely every top deck with the exception of Pidgeotto Control was playing GX Pokemon. And honestly, even Pidgeotto Control was playing GX Pokemon, but you just wouldn't play this in that deck. Um, so to me, Cherish Ball was just such like a meta-defining card um, that I felt like it needed to be higher than the other ones. Uh, Winter, what do you think? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Cherish Ball is, is searches out really powerhouses. Like the, like the good GX like the good GX cards are powerhouses. Like if yeah. you like if you open this, um, but don't open a Dedenne, you get a Dedenne. If you open this and you don't have a Mew Mew, you now have a Mew Mew. Like right. this this card is awesome. I mean, I think it searches for like really powerful cards. Like yeah, it's limited to GX, but the power level is just so strong. Like yeah. I played in, in in the last format before Sword and Shield, I played. Reshazard and I played easy easy four because like yeah. I could get Heatran I could get Reshazard I could get Dedenne like um you could get like even now I still play uh two of them uh in um in Zation ADP for both ADP and both Dedenne just because those cards are so strong and I need to have those I need to have ADP turn one but I need to have Dedenne as soon as possible as well so like 
I'm still playing it, even though, even though like I play for football, like it's still that strong, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with you. I want to have the consistency. Yeah. And this is one where we were sort of drawing connections to, between this and Premier Ball, which Premier Ball, for those of you guys that don't know, came out when Level X's were a thing. And it basically had the same text except for Level X's. But the problem with that was that Level X's weren't necessarily the best cards to get in their in their respective format. They weren't. They were good. They were really good. But... Well, I mean, first of all, a lot of them were evolving Pokemon, so you had to search out their pre-evolutions before you searched those out. So you, if you did break Premier Ball, you weren't playing four. Um, but second of all, they just not every deck had uh, an, an essential level X to play. Whereas in Standard, for for the past two formats um, at the time making this video, GX's rule that completely dominated the format. So. So that's why this is on here, and I guess spoiler alert, Premier Ball is not. But let's go ahead and move to number six. Number six is Nest Ball. Worth pointing out, this card is very, very similar to a card that used to be called Great Ball back in Fire Red is when that dropped. But this one came out in Sun and Moon. The only difference between the two is that Great Ball said search for a non-EX Pokemon and put it onto your bench. This just says search for a basic Pokemon of any description and put it onto your bench. So, um, uh, Winter, why don't why don't you go ahead and, and lead us on this one? Sure. Uh, I play these in Expanded in my Buzzwell deck, and they're really sweet. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much you get, you know, the... It's it's a lot like it's a lot like quick ball what we're playing today, except the drawback is you have to put it onto your bench. So, um, like if you like, for example, you play this and you're looking for like a lele, you it doesn't just go to your hand. You have to put it out onto your bench and you have to act activate the ability then. Like whatever you're grabbing, you have to be ready to play it now. Um, and while nest ball wasn't super like. It, like it was definitely used. It wasn't, I think, as prevalent as the as the its original form in Great Ball was. That card dominated. That card was amazing um, at the time because we really didn't have anything that let you have that versatility of search. Um, yeah, the drawback was there, but this card was way more strong then because this was such a new idea. Like, and um, you know, I think I think that's definitely worth mentioning. But just the ability itself, search for any basic and put it down. Obviously, you're going to use this card when you need it so it's a really good card i i really like this card a lot like you're not you're not really gonna i don't think you're gonna put yourself in a situation where um like as long as you know what you're doing you're not gonna put yourself in a situation where this where the downside is bad yeah i totally agree with that i think nest ball is a really good card the problem with nest ball um when it came out it also came out with ultra ball and ultra ball was just strictly better than it um, and so I think Nest Ball saw less play because of that. But um, I, th I think you kind of, you touched on it, Winter. The biggest downside with Nest Ball was there are so many Pokemon that have abilities that are specifically worded when you play this Pokemon onto your bench from your hand. And so with Nest Ball, those, those effects don't trigger. So you can't Nest Ball for top with Lele because, well, and not if you want to use its ability. So, if, you know, that has to go to your hand, which is why people played Ultra Ball so much, because they could Ultra Ball for Lele, put it in the hand, and then play it. So that was the big drawback with Nest Ball, and I think that's really the reason why it goes um, so far down on this, because to be able to just search a basic Pokemon without having to do anything is is really strong. So, um, so I think that's really cool. But uh, going on to number five, number five, we have something similar, actually, and that is Dual Ball. It says, flip two coins for each heads, search for a non-baby Pokemon, and put it into your hand. This first came out in Expedition, and Winter and I were discussing this uh, previous to the recording, where um, Dual Ball, like, first of all, it totally, like, ruled several different formats, um, especially when it, it, in its reprinting in Heart, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Unleashed. Um, this card was everywhere and it's really cool. So it, it, it searches for a basic kind of like nest ball does, uh, but it's on two coin flips. So if you look at the math there, um, 75% of the time you're going to be flipping at least one heads with this card, which means, um, out of the four that you would play in your deck, three of them are going to function. And then, um, I think we said 15% of the time, I think it, we were, we were doing our math, right? With that 15% of the time, you're going to get two Pokemon off of this card. So it's definitely going to happen in games. Um, if you go to a 
a, a tournament where you play more than like three or four games, you're probably going to get two Pokemon off of this card at some point. So I think this card is great, and that's why it comes in at number five. Winter, do you have anything to add to that? Absolutely. I, I mean, this card is just so good. Like, what's great is that in its most recent printing, well, it was it was um, Harkle Soul Silver Unleashed. We had Junk Arm in the format, which uh, is just it's 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 item finder, you know, which which is uh, which is incredible. But um, in 2012, uh, uh, Darkrai EX won Worlds with a, one copy of these and four Junk Arm. So you could you only really needed to play one you could potentially get two off of here i mean yeah the downside is really bad but the the upside is it's just so strong and you're it's going to be a pokeball like you know like michael said 75 percent of the time and if by some chance you miss it you can always reoccur it with junk arm you could reoccur a lot of things with junk arm there was a lot of great um a lot of great uh tra trainers in that format but just the fact that you it only played one dual ball for junk arm this card is awesome i love dual ball because it's at 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 like most of the time it's going to be a pokeball and you could potentially get two basic pokemon off of it and put them right in your hand like that's that's pretty strong yeah that's really good and just for those of you guys that may not know what junk arm does i think it's discard two cards and get a trainer back from your discard pile right that's correct yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i i uh, yes yep discard yeah. two get a trigger back so that's that's super good so you're functionally playing five dual ball potentially with with one of these and four junk arms so um very cool um moving on to number four we have level ball this card was printed in uh black and white in the next destiny set it says search for a pokemon with 90 hp or less and add it to hand and i think the big thing with this card is um on the surface of it it may not look amazing but as I was looking through uh, decks that won Worlds and, and topped at Worlds, that did well at World Tournaments, uh, so the best decks in the formats, this card was in about half of them. So what this did is it, it incentivized people so much to play cards that have low HP that people, those were some of the best decks in the format. So um, I think that's what I, I have to say about this. I think it's pretty obvious, like evolution, like anything that evolves is going to have stuff that's less than 90 HP. So this is like a go-to for that. But even some evolving Pokemon have 90, less than 90 HP and you can search them out off this card with no downside. So Winter, what, what about you? Yeah, I mean, this card just automatically reminds me of Unlimited because this card is broken in Unlimited because you're working with a lot of Pokemon um, that were really strong in the very early parts of the game that had 90 and less. Yeah. So Unlimited is sweet, but this was this was awesome in um, in Standard with when, when uh, we had Deluge Blastoise because we had to find a really quick way to get Squirtle and War Turtle to be able to evolve. Well, or really just Squirtle because Rare Candy was in the format. We had to get a way to get Squirtle, um, and this was a great ball to do so because uh, you know Squirtle fits in that category. Um, but in Unlimited, this is just so busted too. In the same deck, oddly, in Deluge Blastoise or Shuckle Toys, because it gets everything. It gets yeah. Shuckle, it gets um, Squirtle, War Turtle, it gets Espeon. Uh, like th this card just gets a lo like a lot of cards. Um, but yeah, in standard, this card was amazing. Uh, in in most formats now, even in expanded, it's really good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, in expanded, there's several decks that are still using this. Um, thinking about stuff like uh, like the recent Metacham deck, which is something I was testing with in expanded this time. But and that that deck is kind of an outlier deck. But even even some of the more mainstream decks would definitely be playing this. Thinking something like Lost March or or, or things like that. So um, yeah, great great card. So moving on to the top three now, coming in at number three is going to be Luxury Ball. Luxury Ball says search your deck for any non-level X Pokemon, and you can't play this if you have a, a, any Luxury Ball in your discard pile. We first saw this card in Stormfront, and then it got reprinted in Great Encounters. Um, I, I love this card because it, it, it sort of does the same thing as the Master Ball A-Spec card that we had, except two things were different. One is that it was the best search at the time when this thing was legal. And then two, you didn't necessarily only had to play one copy of this card. In fact, a lot of decks played two copies because it only works once per game. But 
Um, but it also, like, you you want to see it. So you can play it in as many copies as you want. Also, it doesn't prevent you from playing other great cards like Aspex did. So this card's ridiculous. Um, like I said, when Level X were in the format, they were great, but a lot of them evolved, and they weren't... Uh, actually, I think all Level Xs evolved, technically. Um, and they also weren't necessarily the only good cards in the format. So um, having that downside really wasn't too big of a deal. Uh, for luxury ball so uh, and you had premier ball so you could just play luxury ball and premier ball so um, yeah that's that's me on this card what about you winter yeah this card's uh, just amazing like i i didn't play standard during this time uh, i i didn't even really this was a time i didn't even really play this is kind of that in between period where i wasn't really playing the card game at all um but i first discovered this card when i was actually getting into unlimited about four years ago um and i was like this card this card is amazing. What's the, I'm reading the card and I'm like, wow, this is so great. Okay. You can only, you, you know, if it's in your discard pile, you can't play this card, but there's item finder, there's junk arm, there's ways to recur it. Um, right. which is cool because you, you, as long as you, as long as it's not in your, in your discard pile, you can keep playing this card. Right. So you just keep re re recurring it, recurring it when you have these abilities in older formats. But yeah, I mean, just being able to search for like level X's aren't too relevant. I mean, the only, the only level X I really liked was level X Uxie, and that could be searched with with um, uh, you know like with Premier Ball. You know, like this this card is just it's basically search for a Pokemon, show it to your opponent, put it in your hand. That's literally this card, and you can play it alongside Computer Search. So yeah, this card's busted. Yeah, it's super good. Really, really good card. So uh, moving on to number two, we have a uh, Quick Ball. Now, to be to be fair, this is the second version of Quick Ball. The first version of Quick Ball was actually significantly worse than this one, so that is not on the list at all. But this is the new one that we got in Sword and Shield. Um, and this one says, you discard another card from your hand and search for a basic Pokemon to add to your hand. Um, this card's ridiculous. Like, the fact, like, everything about this card is good because you only have to discard one card as opposed to with Ultra Ball, you discard two. Um, you get a basic, it doesn't go to your bench like with Nest Ball, it goes to your hand. So this will get you that, like, in our, in our format right now, we have Dedene, and so Dedene, GX, you know, you get it, put it in your hand, drop it on the bench, discard, draw six. Like, that's that's super, super good. Um, we're also in a very basic heavy format, but even if you're not in a basic heavy format, the thing with Pokemon is you still need to get your basics because they're going to evolve into your uh, evolution Pokemon, like your V Maxes and stuff, maybe for a future format that we might be heading into. So I just think this card is really good. It's also coming to us after a format that had terrible search options. So I think Pokemon almost like threw us a bone and gave us one of the best search cards we've ever had in the game. Um, with that, so that's that's my words on Quick Ball. What about you, Winter? This card's too good. This card is amazing. Um, and I think I think like it's it it deserves the number two spot simply because the ability is just so new for the format um it's like you know we've only had it for we only have had it for one format this card is this card allows decks like baby blounds lost march um random decks to be able to play things like zacian because it's so easy to search like like pretty much when i'm playing because i play the i play the baby blondes that has the one zacian pretty much i can get zacian out turn one every time because of this card and the downside typically discarding a fire energy like the downside right. of discarding isn't even really that bad like like this card is just uh, enough said i mean this card's just amazing like you discard a card search for a basic basics are good that's it this card's awesome yeah i totally agree with that speaking of cards that make you discard our number one pick is going to be ultra ball and uh, this card reads, discard two cards and search for a Pokemon to add to your hand. Uh, we first saw it in Dark Explorers, and it's pretty much been in the format since then, except for uh, this last format that we actually had. And so, Winter, I'm going to let you start us off on this one. I mean, the only thing better than this card is computer search. <laughs> and it's not a ball, so it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. No, this this card's great. Every every expanded deck I play right now still has this card. Um, you're just discarding two cards and you get a Pokemon. I mean, there there's, you know, I mean, I think I think the only the only drawback of this card is the fact that you cannot like if you're like low on if you're like low on cards, which you really shouldn't be if you're building your deck appropriately with Octillaries and and other ways to draw a lot of cards. Um, 
like the only downside is just drawing this when you have like an empty hand or you don't have enough to be able to activate it or discarding yeah. two cards is just not what you want to do. But this card's great like all the rest of the times. Like this card has been in so many decks since it's been in uh, the format. It's, it's it, you know, like as it, it's, it's still like is th all the way through expanded. Um, it's just so good. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, so when I was doing my research for this, I was looking at all the world's decks, and it was actually a little bit difficult because uh, there was actually a there used to be anyway a lot of variety in the top decks of worlds where some would play no ball cards, some would play four of one ball cards, some would play low counts of ball cards, and then as soon as I got to where um, the format had ultra ball, every single deck played four ultra ball, with the exception of maybe like one or two. So we're we're I mean we're talking about like a long time like eight years of ultra ball being a staple for of in every single good deck like i said with the exception of like maybe one or two and uh, i started playing when this card was legal and i played it in all my decks and um there is like winter said there is that time when you know you draw it and you only have one other card or you really can't discard anything so it just sits in your in your hand but the thing is is that um like right now for instance in the short time that we had uh, ultra ball with i think we had it with the den agx like for, for for a very short amount of time um so the nice thing about it is you just you know if you draw it and you only have two other cards you you do get rid of your hand but then you get to dene and you just play it and you get six cards or or um even even with lele which is what i think i remember this card being used for the most you just ultra ball and then you lele for like n or you lele for um, Cynthia or something like that and you just get a new hand so it's kind of cool a lot of times ultra ball would put me down to a zero card hand and then I would replenish my hand with whatever I got off of ultra ball um, which is super cool I'm sure for those of you guys that were playing with shaman you probably had the same experience with shaman like it's just so good this card's amazing the fact that you can search for anything is just like it's broken like there's nothing that brings more consistency to the format even including computer search because it was an a spec Unless you count like how broken the uh, original Pokemon format was, but we won't even go there because that whole format was everything was broken in that. So, um, but yeah, Ultra Ball is great, super good. Um, Winter, do you have any closing comments about Ultra Ball? I do. I'm actually wondering why I thought of Octillery before Shaman. I'm like really pondering that right now. Anyway, <laughs> That's um, all right. yeah, this card's really cool. I mean, I like the fact that like I play an expanded deck where I actually have, like, I'm not just choosing between, I'm not, like, I'm not just choosing between basics. Like, my deck now, I'm playing a Buzzwall variant that plays um, uh, Crab Rawler and Crab Abominable. So, like, I can actually get my Crab Abominable off of the Ultra Ball where I could not do that if it was something like Quick Ball. You know, the fact that I can yeah. search for any Pokemon or, like, like uh, you know, like, it makes, it makes, it doesn't just say basic. And I think that's important. Like, we forget that there's a lot of great evolution Pokemon out there um, that can also be searched by Ultra Ball. So I, I think the versatility for that extra card um, definitely puts it at number one over Quick Ball. I think it's just a phenomenal card. Like I said, the only thing better is Computer Search. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So um, that was our top 10 uh, ball cards in the Pokemon TCG. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do want to remind you guys to like and subscribe to this video, uh, like the ch like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment for us. Let us know if you agree with the top 10 list, if maybe your number one card would be something that we didn't put as a number one card, or maybe maybe give us a top three in the comment. Um, so if you're going to disagree with our top three, give your own top three so that, uh, so that we can all kind of have discussions about that. But um, uh, I want to give Winter the opportunity to shout out some of his stuff. So Winter, go ahead and do some shout outs. Absolutely. So I have a YouTube channel, uh, one that um, I have not posted on for a while, but I I am working on some stuff. It's Hard Rock TCG. It's uh, R-A-W-K, Hard Rock TCG. Uh, definitely check that out. Also, just something to consider. Why was there never a card named Love Ball after the ball Love Ball that searched for fairy types? And now we will never know. Yep. It's true. Everybody I'll press F in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, well, thank you so much for being a part of this winter. It's been uh, pretty amazing. Like I said, I am Michael Sean with Unison Games. Be sure to check out the rest of this channel as well. I will, of course, link Hard Rock TCG in the description so you guys can check out uh, Winter's opening channel and uh, see all the cool stuff that he's bringing to you. We're also doing a lot of openings here at Unison Games. Rebel Clash is about to drop, which means that the uh, opening videos will be increasing uh, in the next couple of weeks because we're going to have all cool new Pokemon stuff to open. So definitely stay tuned and check out for that. And of course, hashtag Team Metroflex. Uh, we're really excited to um, go to Worlds next year after this whole Corona thing is over. So so definitely, uh, definitely we're going to be continuing to bring you some of these cool videos where we kind of um, increase our knowledge about the game and uh, bring that to you guys. So Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, until next time, as always, keep doing your Pokemon thing, and we will see you next time.